On QuantConnect, we provide a large library of documentation, which you can see in quantconnect.com slash docs. Here you can see the detailed API methods, how to develop in the IDE, and along with example algorithms and video tutorials. However, as you're coding, sometimes it can be tedious to flick back and forth with the documentation, and so we wanted to make a way for it to be easier to be coding in the web environment. For this, we introduced the Copilot. The Copilot automatically scans your code as you write it and then suggests helpful documentation. So here we have the basic template algorithm and we're just going to try and set the cache. And then as it builds, it returns a set of helpful suggestions. You can see the new suggestions with the number here on the side. The set cache method has different parameters that you can pass it into the method and it shows all the different API methods for that. You can see two different types of Copilot suggestion here. There's the documentation suggestions and then the API suggestions marked by the code icon. The documentation suggestions are pulled directly from the documentation page to help you so you don't need to flick back and forth and search the documentation. As you're coding, we provide different completion methods here. So you can use the autocomplete in conjunction with the Copilot documentation. So say you don't know the full parameters that are available add equity and then as you write it will suggest the different methods the different methods that are available and here you can see the full API for the add equity method and you can see that it returns a new equity type so in addition this helps for when you don't actually know the sub properties for example with indicators so here we have a var adx equals new average directional index so this is the full class name of the indicator typically what you do is use the simpler adx helper method like this which will actually register the indicator and start getting data automatically but if you'd like to learn the types we can actually analyze the variables themselves and if you put a dot after the variable you can see here that we've pulled up the properties of the indicator and you can see the positive and the negative directional indicator so uh, that's the demonstration of the Copilot, and uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the forum.